Okay, in this video I'll just go over how to use the title text change settings in the uh, DCS button. So uh, for this we'll try to capture the um, ODU panels here in the Harrier and the, the text that's displayed in these panels uh, display them on the Stream Deck button. So uh, for this we'll use this uh, momentary button slash display uh, and this is actually the same as as this other one above it, it's just the different default image background. Um, so it just has one static image state. And what we can do is within here, this title text change settings, um, what this is doing by default is it will display the string it receives um, while monitoring this DCS ID uh, unaltered to the title value here. So um, what we need to do is find the DCS ID uh, that it should monitor. So to do that, we'll pull up the um, DCS export script and go into its exports modules uh, and open up the one for the Harrier. Uh, and so within here, uh, we can search for the ODU. Uh, and you see the ODU panel. However, this is the, um, the buttons of the ODU panel, different options. So if we keep searching uh, we'll get to the display here, and this display, if we scroll down a bit, um, this is actually sending data out to these uh, five values, uh, and these are the DCS IDs. So um, what we can do is, and let me increase this up so it's actually displaying something. And hide this. So. Uh, if we now type in 2026, uh, we'll see we'll get the top right ODU. Um, and what I'll do is I'll just paste this into these other guys. Uh, and it's just 678930. Uh, so I'll update these other ones the same. Seven, And let's get that displayed again just so we can see it changing as we type. Okay, and now you can uh, click through the different uh, options and it will update uh, in real time on the Stream Deck. One other thing to mention is that uh, you can also click this DCS comms window here uh, and get a view of the debugging of the current monitoring of the DCS IDs. Uh, so if we scroll all the way down to the 2026 and above that we were monitoring, um, you'll see that these are set to uh, what's currently displayed. For another example of the title text change, uh, I have the F5 module pulled up here. And if we zoom in, there's this external stores uh, rotary switch. Uh, that we can pay attention to and for this let's create a button of the incremental input with space for text above here so to start off uh, let's pull up the id lookup and grab that uh, item here so what we can do is uh, this is the counterclockwise and the clockwise uh, clickable items and so we want to be able to click to rotate this. So let's do DCS command and send the, import this into the DCS command. Uh, and then also the title text change. Let's import the value to that. And so now you see 0 0.2. So the way these selections work is there's a min a range of 0 to 0 0.3 and it's an increment of 0 0.1. So this is 0 0.0, 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3 are the, the four positions there. So if we were to click through this, you'll see 0 0.3, 0 0.2, 0 0.1. Um, but what we can do instead is that's just displaying the unaltered value. Um, here we can specify 
um, a map of the values to some text. So if we say 0, 0.0 equals ripple, uh, and then do the same for the other items, then we can see that it shows uh, these other items. I had to readjust the recording windows, but as you can see, the text is now displayed, but uh, it's quite big and a little unreadable. Um, however, we can still use the Stream Deck's uh, title text um, adjustments to resize the text um, or even change the font. Um, so the impact is a kind of a narrow one, so it can be kind of nice. Um, another thing is we can uh, this vertical spacing box allows us to provide offsets um, to spacing so we could even set the alignment to center here and add one or two uh, extra lines to space it up to just get it line it up a little bit nicer and now you can click through and uh, they all fit in the display nicely